All right, so now that we have that Conda environment set up, I'm actually going to show you like where that Python executable is. So if you go to C, Program Files, ArcGIS, Pro, Bin, Python, ENVS, so that stands for Environments. Here you can see our two Conda environments. If you go into YouTube Clone and scroll down, here is our Python executable. So we can just copy this. So I'm clicking it and then shift right click. And you can say copy as path. And if we just take this into like a, a normal command prompt, we should be able to paste that in and just it'll show up and we can import Boto 3 for example. Okay, so that's good. Now what we need to do, I'm going to use something called PyCharm. Um, this is my favorite uh, Python IDE. So I'm going to open this and basically I need to, let me make a new project. Um, I'm going to change the location of it to where we put that ArcGIS uh, here, where we put the file geodatabase. Now I want to use a existing interpreter. Um, and it's not this one, so that's the default one. So like PyCharm automatically detected that I have this installed, but we want to browse to this Conda environment and then just click these dots and we need to browse to basically where I just showed you. So C program files, ArcGIS Pro, Bin, Python, ENVS, YouTube clone. <laughs> almost there, python.exe, all right. So it automatically um, populated Conda executable. So just click make available to all projects and then click okay. And I don't like that. Why can I not get rid of that? That's weird. Anyway, just click create. I feel like my pie charm is like frozen or something. There we go. It was thinking. Um, yeah, create from existing sources. Let's do it in this window. That's the file geodatabase. So, if you don't know, file geodatabases has a have a ton of files inside of them. Um, but yeah, let's just let this index. This could take like couple minutes uh, so I'll pause the video and once that's done uh, we'll just make sure that we can import ArcPy and then also import Boto 3.